I have mentioned the term austerities many times here. What does austerities mean? One of the European synonyms for austerities would be penances. An old Christian term for it is self-mortification. And the Hindus of India are familiar with the word tapas, which means to burn. Austerities are the cutting edge of the work of renunciation. And renunciation of worldly and sensual entanglements is at the heart of religion and spiritual work. The purpose of austerities is self-purification and the destruction of obscuring karmas. Austerities also serve to destroy our addictions and to sever our emotional and physical ties to worldly distractions that disturb our meditation. When we engage in austerities, we become fit for a more divine life and we attract grace. The Yoga Sutra, which is a technical manual about how to become one with God, even lists austerities as the basic action of that process. Austerities are listed as the basic action of yoga in the Yoga Sutras. The text also cites spiritual studies and devotion to the Lord, but it lists austerities first and foremost. Yoga is actually a synonym for austerities. How little do they know? For example, do you think all those pretty ladies posing like Buddhas on the cover of the Yoga Journal are the least bit interested in austerities? Probably not. But you can be more savvy. So what are the austerities? What are some things that a man can do to purify himself and to make himself fit for a more divine life? I am going to list a few of them because every man, every deep man and spiritual seeker should have a clear understanding of austerities. Let me name a few very simple but important ones that anyone can do. There's silence. Silence is an excellent austerity. Just quit blabbering. Cease unnecessary communication. Do you know that you waste a lot of your prana, your life force, through talking? Save it up. Then you can use it for the hardest work, concentration and meditation. Practice silence. It's easy to choose your Sundays and make them days of silence or at least a lot more silence. Be more and more silent on at least one day a week. Mahatma Gandhi, the celibate and influential leader of India, kept a day of silence weekly. Now another great austerity, and a simple one, is solitude. Be alone. If you were going to try to develop an intimate relationship with your beloved, you'd want to take her off alone as much as you could. The intimate relationship won't develop unless you pull away from others. People don't realize how much they're plugged in to so many other people and these relationships tug them this way and that and often they pull you down to a lower consciousness than you'd otherwise have. Be alone more. It's a great austerity. And you can enjoy this simple penance 
on your special spiritual day, like on a Sunday. So there are two very easy austerities that anyone can develop. Another simple austerity is to give up a certain food or thing you like to take or drink or smoke, especially one that you don't need or even harms you. Give it up. That's an austerity for sure. Or just go without it for a week or forego it one day a week on that one spiritual day. Better yet, get into a little fasting. Fasting is one of the most powerful, purifying austerities. I would advise that you start with going one day a month with no food and just water. Later, do it every now and then on your spiritual day. Then you can try a few two- and three-day fasts later. This is one of the most amazing austerities available to us human beings. You unload much karma and do much self-purification with a fast. It is sure fire. Now there are two austerities that stand out above all as the most important and the most effective. And the first of these is sexual chastity. So all you men who have been coming to this site, commencing the battle to become more chaste, you've already been doing one of the greatest and most difficult austerities that any spiritual man can do. In the entire realm of religious austerities and yoga, and spirituality. There is nothing more important and influential than chastity. And here's something interesting. Meditation practice makes the other austerities come easy. Meditation destroys our ties to false worldly thrills because we get to know the divine thrill so the more we meditate, the more we become natural renouncers, naturally detached, free from worldly distractions, and we get closer and closer to the state of rapture called samadhi, God-knowledge that all saints know. Yes, through austerities, we can become genuinely spiritual men, genuinely saintly men, and also potently influential for good while in this world.